Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family Channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi, walking and talking here on the ski piste in Sierra Nevada. Today's video, I have five amazing Bitcoin charts. I have a trading tip, a travel tip, some live advice, answering one of the questions, and some big news, of course, always there. And we will end the video again with an inspirational quote while I'm enjoying this amazing view again over here, guys. Check how beautiful. Recording these videos now in the evening, uploading them in the morning. Sometimes I will do an extra chart TA upload in the morning as well because there's a lot of hours in between now and tomorrow morning. So then there can be mistakes. But let's quickly jump into the charts to show you exactly what is happening to Bitcoin today, the 2nd of April, 2024. The first chart for today, guys, is this four hour chart. And yes, I was wrong. It was an ascending triangle. Yes, I'm gonna give away a t-shirt to one of the correct answers down below the video, uh, but we didn't break out to the top. We broke out downside, guys. And it is also possible as an ascending triangle, as you can see on the image that will show you later, ascending triangles are bilateral and we can go to the top or to the bottom, but I will explain a little bit la later in the trading tip guys so at the moment short term volatility we went down and um, support is around this area over here of 66 67k if we break that then the next part of support is around 64 or even 63k this area there is a lot of support and um, so the biggest part of course is around 63k we are moving in between 74 63k as we can see on the top over here this line and this line just a range that Bitcoin is going sideways before we go and move up to the next level, guys. Don't be fooled. We can move 10% or 20% within a couple of days. Don't be fooled by these red candles that we've seen on the four hour chart. I will zoom out a little bit to show you that the ascending triangle is also taking place in another time frame. On this chart, you can see on the monthly. We are again creating this ascending triangle over here. Not a very clear one, but you can see it's an ascending triangle. We are creating higher lows over here. And we are creating triple top, but we are breaking out of that triple top now. And it is on the monthly chart. Every candle is a month. So this month, March, broke out of this pattern. And now we have April over here starting. Let's see if in the monthly chart we can break out and stay above that level over here stay above that horizontal line that is the resistance line and here in the bottom you can see again how this ascending triangle could play out so we went in and up so we went in it we went to the top two times to the bottom three times again to the top and then we broke out this could lead to a huge push to that 77k that we are talking about or even the 140k at the bull market top guys Great spot by Crypto Cove. I found this one on Twitter. Then we have this chart. This is the hot face. This is coded RSI by Stock Money Lizard. So that's the indicator a color coded RSI. And we can see when it's completely red, that's the hot face of Bitcoin. Every time that's the hot face of Bitcoin, that's the second part of the bull market, the hot part of the bull market, the part that we need to pay attention because there will be a moment that we will be selling. We just entered that hot phase and we entered it before the halving. Normally we enter it after the halving, as you can see, after the halving over there and after the halving over there. So we are pre-running the market, but it doesn't really matter. We are entering that hot phase. That means between now and the end of 2025, there will be a top. And this will be an insane run in Bitcoin price and a run that you can't believe just like you couldn't believe that when we were over here at 20k and we broke the previous all time, that we had that run to 70k. Just like we broke over here at $1,200 and we went to 20k. You couldn't believe that all these red hot candles happened. You couldn't believe that they happened over there. And you also couldn't believe that they happened over here. And now you're still doubting if they will ever happen over here. They will happen. This is the second part. This is the most interesting part for the Bitcoin bull market because we're going to go into a steep climb to a new all-time high and will be the new bull market top. On this chart, we can see that on the monthly chart, something very interesting happened. Bitcoin reclaimed the Fibonacci ratio 3 line, which is 4.236 on the monthly chart. 
And whenever we do this, over here, for example, 2013, we go above that blue line, that is the path where we start that massive run. Here again, in 2013, the second time, massive run. 2017, massive run. 2020, massive run. And it looks a small run, but it's like a 180% run in 2020. 1100% run in 2017 and 900% and like a 300% run over there in 2013. Now we are battling that line and we are probably going to break that line now in April and stay above it. And that will lead again into a run. Even, even as a 100% run, we will go to 140,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. Very simple chart well explained by uh, El Crypto Prof on Twitter. So it's very interesting to see that we are again battling that same line and we are breaking it. And when we break it, believe me, we will see that run. Don't be in doubt. Zoom out. This is going to be the most interesting part for the Bitcoin bull market. The part that you're going to make a share of profit. The part that you should be taking profit. The part that you should be subscribing now to my YouTube channel because you will be told by me when I'm going to sell my part of the portfolio and when you should be taking profit. So do subscribe to this channel now and give it already a thumbs up. I hope you really enjoyed those charts, guys. Yes, short term, I was wrong. We broke downwards out of the, yes, indeed, ascending triangle. That was the correct answer. I'm going to give a free t-shirt to one of the correct answers down below. Uh, yes, it is YouTube video, ascending triangle. Normally in a bull market, it will continue, guys, continue to the upside. At this moment, we are breaking down of this pattern. It can still be a fake out. We don't know, but we will see in a couple of days, guys. If we fall and break down, we will break to that second line of support that they always have on the chart. You know, again, in that band that we are going up and down, just bouncing between 66 and around 70K, guys. So that's a very beautiful area for Bitcoin to be. So if you ask me, no problems at all. Beautiful targets for Bitcoin ahead of us. We are just ahead of the halving, like 20 days or something, or 90 days till the halving. We will go much higher than these levels that we see now. And I know for many of you, this will be like, unbelievable it's like yeah that's impossible Didi. we already had 70k 70k was the previous all-time high we are gonna make a new all-time high higher way higher than this one of last year guys we are just at the halving when the halving will happen we will have a supply shock the bitcoin price will go up tremendously we will definitely go visit 100k and even above in my humble opinion between now and the end of 2025 and yes the bull market up probably 2025 septemberish somewhere if it is again 17 to 18 months after the halving but it also could be a little bit later maybe again with christmas in 2025 let's see the one thing i'm pretty sure of is that we will be going up the next 12 months and when we see the indicators flashing off oh we need to sell we are near the top that is the moment when we start to sell not earlier than that simple as that let's jump into the trading tip the trading tip of course is that ascending triangle just check the chart over here yes that was me going bound down below in the snow uh, you can see all kinds of patterns over here the ascending triangle can go up and can go down as you know by now we went down normally in a bull market we will continue the trend that we are in and we are in an uptrend because normally these ascending triangles will break out to the upside now sometimes also to the downside but that means nothing just check all these patterns. There's a few patterns that are always bullish and a few patterns that are always bearish. And there's a few patterns like the ascending triangle that has two options, up and down. Memorize these, always look at the charts, do your own TA, but do understand exactly what these patterns mean. I think it's a very important trading tip that you understand all these chart patterns before you start to trade with a lot of money or Bitcoins, whatever you prefer. I trade with Bitcoins, inverse, perpetual, on Bybit, yes, with my Palau residence, because as a Dutch person, I am not allowed anymore to trade inverse perpetual on Bybit, so I use my Palau residence. If you want to have a Palau residence, click the link down below, sign up, and you have a Palau residence within a couple of weeks, guys. Also, if you want to trade, trade on Bybit. It's by far the best exchange out there. It has the best liquidity, it has the best pairs, it has the best possibilities for a trader. So always use Bybit. At the moment, up to 30,000 US dollars sign-up bonus. And plus, they have now an event that you can win up to 4 million US dollar theater if you sign up using the link here down below. That was the trading tip for today.
The second travel tip, the Bitcoin travel tip of this month will be always have a backup plan. Like the adoption of Bitcoin is not everywhere in the world yet. So what I always do is when I arrive in a country, I will exchange a little bit of Bitcoin into cash of that country. Thai baht, euros, dollars, whatever it is. Exchange a little bit of your Bitcoins into cash. For those moments that you can't use Bitcoin payments directly or you can't use your Bitcoin debit card, you will always be able to use that country's cash. So always have a backup plan. I know I'm a full hardcore Bitcoiner. I know I want to spend my Bitcoin. Yeah, I know I just want to do peer-to-peer -peer and also know that sometimes I need to use my debit cards. But in the worst case scenario, like for example, I experienced on the Turkish border when I need, forgot to have a visa, I needed to buy a visa, I needed cash. So always have a reserve, a little bit of cash in your pocket of the country that you're gonna visit or the country that you're leaving because that you can exchange as well, of course, to the cash in the country that you're then visiting. So the second Bitcoin travel tip for this month is always have a backup plan, always have a little bit of reserve cash to be sure you will have food and a roof above your head. And again, a little bit windy, guys, but I hope the DJI is just doing a terrific job and blocking all the wind. Uh, the question of the follower was, Didi, what do you think about the SWIFT system and all the central banks now working together and wanting to block certain transactions, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. My take on the SWIFT system is it doesn't have a long life left. I don't think the SWIFT system will survive this blockchain revolution. Even if they want to use the technology of that shitcoin that I'm not going to name, but you all know which one I'm talking about that is focusing on replacing the SWIFT system of the banks. It starts with an X. I don't like to name that coin because I just hate it because they support the banks. But even that system is doing a better job than the SWIFT system. So I don't believe the SWIFT system will survive. I don't believe that the central banks even will survive with the kind of power that they have at the moment. The world is waking up. They are understanding that the central banks have other plans that the people want. The people don't want to be locked up in a social credit system. The people don't want to have full control on their bank account or digital currencies or on their freedom of speech because of the social networks and now being tracked by the government and the central banks. That's not what the people want. So if the central banks continue the way they are working at the moment with a SWIFT system, which will take you like four days to send euros from uh, one country to another country and maybe even take longer and it will cost you a shitload of money, then that SWIFT system is not going to survive. At the end, the people are the clients that are going to use that money. And if they want to use that money in a cheap way, then the banks need to come up with a cheap solution. And that will probably be a blockchain-based solution. So the central banks will leave that Swiss system, that old-fashioned traditional Swiss system, and exchange it into a blockchain-based system, but then centrally managed by the central banks. For example, that one with an X, which is almost owned by the banks in my honest opinion. So I would never invest in that one. I would never invest in something that goes against my norms and values. So that's why I'm not buying that currency with that X, because it's just a big biggest shitcoin out there after the euros and the dollars. So that's my take on the SWIFT system. I don't think the SWIFT system will survive. In 10 or 20 years, your children won't know what the SWIFT system was. They will be talking about a blockchain system, peer-to-peer -peer transactions of currencies, Bitcoin or any other currency, but not through an old-fashioned, traditional, slow, expensive SWIFT system. So for me, rest in peace, the SWIFT system, I don't believe you will survive many more years. And that while I'm enjoying this beautiful sunset here in the Sierra Nevada. And now that we're talking about scammers, yes, I'm referring to the banks and the central banks. I refer to them as scammers because they scam you of your money. They calculate too much high fees and they don't give you access to your money when you want it. And you can't even do with your money what you want because then you need to fill all kinds of forms because you want to have access to your own money. So the next scammer that his money has been frozen and that is not exactly, I think, karma, Craig Wright. Craig Wright was claiming to be Satoshi. And he lost in court, and now court froze 8 million of his assets on his bank account. So, Mr. Greg White, if you would have been Satoshi, you would have never had money on your bank account because you wouldn't have believed in the bank accounts. And because you're not Satoshi, and you did hold money on your stupid bank accounts, now they had the possibility to freeze your bank account. You were trying to take your money into that new country, and they now froze your money. That is exactly why Bitcoin was invented, Greg Wright. 
because they can't freeze my bitcoins. Now they can freeze your US dollar, your pounds, and your euros on your bank account. If you would have been Satoshi, you would have known that, Greg Wright. Oh my God, Greg Wright, please understand this. If you would have been Satoshi, you would have never, never had that much money on a bank account. You would have been all in Bitcoin because you understood the true fundamentals of Bitcoin and how Bitcoin works, a freedom currency. But you chose, Mr. Greg Wright, you chose, <laughs> stupid as it is, to keep your filthy money, your filthy fiat, on a bank account. And now they froze. 8.5 million US dollar on your bank account because you need to settle the court case and you were fleeing out of the country. This is the biggest failure of a crypto person ever in history. Pretending to be the inventor of Bitcoin, Satoshi Nakamoto, but still holding a shitload of fiat currencies on your bank account that is now being frozen. It can't get better than that. Crypto is full of drama, and that's a very beautiful drama story. They should make a Netflix documentary about you, because that will tell the people how, how unbelievably stupid all those followers were that really believed that you were Satoshi Nakamoto. So that was the news for today. Greg Wright is not Satoshi, and yes, he has a shitload of money on his bank accounts, and yes, that money is being frozen. Now, congratulations with being the fake Satoshi. <laughs>
Sierra Nevada. If you want to go ski in Europe in a place where you, you know, most people don't go, Spain, I think this is a very beautiful place. Just check this view. There's a more that zooming sound. Thanks for watching guys, wish you an amazing day, see you tomorrow again, bam! bam.